So this is the XC72 uh, Wi-Fi wall controller. And what I wanted to show you a few of the differences here are that there is no menu that you can really go into that's gonna explain to you what's what. So the menu that you can go into, you can still set your static notches from here using this. You can choose whether you wanna sense the temperature here at the controller or at the indoor uh, unit itself. You can do the same things, but when you go into the menu here, this is the menu that you have. So you're, you're gonna have to cycle through which is which. For mode, so number two right there, that's my static notches. So I'm, I'm at five, so I can adjust that, you know, up or down. And then I'm gonna hit mode to change it. And then when I'm done, I'm just gonna hit enter and, and exit that. So if you go into the manual, it'll explain which code is which. You can change the ambient sensor, where it's sensing from, the static notches and whatnot. Other than that, you know, you've got your standard modes, uh, cool, dry, fan, heat, and auto. You've got your swing. You've got some functions that you can set. And then you've got your fan speeds. and you've got your timer you can set and then on off up down so the biggest thing about this one is if you really want to use the Gree Plus app Wi-Fi with a cassette slim duct then you can plug this up to it and then you can hook Wi-Fi to the system through this and control it with your phone you're not going to see room temp and you're not going to see an error code if it pops up on your phone if you're away and I'll show you the back of this. You'll see the reason why we say we're not going to utilize this as the um, adapter for the cool automation. Because there's no way to access a control board and flip that dip switch that we would need to if we were going to utilize it. So before we uh, wrap it up here, I wanted to actually show using this for the Wi-Fi connection just so everybody can kind of see how that works and we already saw the kind of the initial how do you hook up Wi-Fi you know using the app and, and showing that but I will I'll just show you kind of the differences here so if we go we we'll click on AC like we're adding you know adding a unit and then we switch two different reset ways so we've got the remote controller with the Wi-Fi button or without or wire controller so we want to select that and then on the control panel of the controller we want the power off and then we want to hold down function and fan for five seconds and then we should see OC pop up there it is reset is complete now keep in mind the Wi-Fi module it's only going to release the Wi-Fi signal from the module two minutes after it's reset. So we're going to click that we've completed that reset and hit next. And we actually, looks like we may already have it ready to go there. Okay, so next. That's usually where you get hung up is the password, the Wi Fi password. So if you're getting hung up and it's, it, you know, it's just not working for you. Go ahead and double check that password. So I'm just going to put study C. So now we can see that it's hooked up and controlling from the phone. It's controlling the XE72 Wi-Fi control. Pretty good stuff. No matter what you choose or, you know, what you, what your customer wants to do, um, you know, built-in Wi-Fi or added on Wi-Fi or cool automation, you know, we've got a lot of options yep. and uh, a lot of good features with those options that we have.